Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. And uh, yeah, it's almost Halloween, so I figured we'd do something related to Halloween. Never done a Halloween tutorial really before. But today we're doing this awesome little paracord pumpkin kind of jack-o'-lantern thing. So the originator of this design or creator of this design is Sylvia over at uh, Creations by S Paracord and More. I will link their channel down below, so please check them out and give them a subscribe if you don't know them already. But anyways, yeah, this is a simple little paracord pumpkin. Um, yeah, nice little decorative thing. You can even use it, probably hang it off a backpack or something like that. Uh, not too hard to make, quite simple. Just a few little steps here and there. And yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Probably make a bunch of these and hand them out at uh, Halloween. Although don't forget to you know give out real candy, otherwise you don't want to make the kids mad. But anyhow, this is what we're doing today. Hope you guys will enjoy it. And uh, yeah, remember to check out those affiliate links and support the channel down below. And uh, also, if you want to support the channel through Patreon, you can check me out there as well. So that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start this paracord pumpkin, we've got our piece of uh, tan paracord. You can use brown or any other color for this if you want. And we're just going to tie a simple diamond knot. So let's do that really quickly. We can use the usual method we do. I'm going to take the cord on the right, make a loop, lay that over the other strand. Like so. Take this cord on the left, bring it underneath that cord on the left, go over, under the middle cord, and over the last one. So now we have our Carex bend formed. Now you're going to take the cord on the right side here, you're going to go past this uh, cord up top, go past it, go through the middle. Like so, and then for the cord on the bottom, take this cord, go past, go past this cord here, bring that through the middle. Okay. We're going to pull that shut. Now you don't want to pull this um, too tight just yet. So this little um, loop up top, that's going to be the area, the kind of, you know, like you can call the little handle above a pumpkin. So we're going to tighten this knot, and what I want you to do, you can get a pen if you don't have the um, knotter's tool. Just put this through the middle, and then just kind of tighten. But you want to leave a bit of a gap in between uh, in the middle of the diamond knot. So we're going to cinch it up a little bit more. But at the same time, we're going to maintain this gap in between because we're going to feed our, our um, orange cords, our orange cords through the middle. So I'm just going to cinch this up as best I can. Okay, so we've got the diamond knot ready. And as you can see, there's a bit of a gap in the middle there. So now we've got our para orange paracord on a fid. And now we're going to essentially start wrapping this around the, um, the diamond knot here. So I'm going to take this, bring it through the middle, like so. And then you're going to start wrapping it. So you can kind of hold on to the cord here. So I brought it out through the middle. I'm going to bring this back down. I'm going to go back through the middle again. And start wrapping this around like so. Okay, so that's one. We bring it back down and go through the middle again. And just repeat this um, until you've achieved the desired look you want. Uh, there's no standard because you can have these kind of closer together or further apart. So maybe like anywhere from six to maybe nine times, probably maybe seven, eight, eight or nine times wrapped around. So again, as you can see, I'm just going through the bottom here and then out the top. Like so, see? All right, so just continue that and wrap all the way around the, uh, the diamond knot.
Okay, so I've done most of my wraps and I'm coming down to the end and can get a little tricky around these um, sides here. So what I will do for this last one, see what's not coming. I guess I can do one more through here. Just bring that out the middle. Okay, and there we go. So now next we're going to snip and singe um, these three strands on the bottom. And this and then this uh, top strand, we're gonna cut it maybe right about there. Just leave maybe a half an inch or a centimeter or so. And then we're gonna attach that green accent. Okay, so we got the main body of the pumpkin made. Now we're gonna add the little stem. So I've got a piece of green paracord. What I'm gonna do is cut off the end. So, okay. And then I'm going to actually gut part of the, um, the insides here. So I'm gonna pull out just about maybe that much of the inner guts. We're going to cut that off. Okay. You can let that kind of retract back in. Now I'm going to take um, my lighter actually. And I'm just going to torch the end here and then widen with my knotter's tool here. So I just kind of touch the lighter to that. Now it's nice and hollow as you can see. And then now we're going to attach this here so we can slip this over the, um, the stem like so. That looks pretty neat. And then now we're just going to cut the paracord. It's a pretty long stem, you think? It's okay. We'll just cut it right about here. You can make the stem as long or short as you want. You can always just clip the uh, orange tip a bit shorter. I'm just going to cut this here. Again, I'm going to take my lighter and give it a little melt. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, so um, to keep that really secure, you can just add a drop or two of super glue right where the, um, the stem meets. And now finally, we're going to add the little yellow accent on the inside. So lastly, for the yellow accent, just to simulate that kind of light coming out from a jack-o'-lantern, uh, I've got a yellow piece of paracord. I'm just going to feed it under these strands of paracord here. Like so, let me get that underneath. And if this, if you don't get them all under there, you can just use your knotter's tool or hemostats, whatever you have. Just kind of push it underneath. Do whatever you need to do to get that.
And there we have it. So we got that last piece of yellow in there. And you can make it smaller or short if you want. But there it is, the Paracord Pumpkin, little jack-o'-lantern. Super awesome, super cute for Halloween. Definitely something you could make a bunch of these and hand them out at a Halloween party or something like that. Be a lot of fun for the kids. All right. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to check out uh, Creations by S. Paracord. Uh, they were the ones who originated this uh, Paracord pumpkin. It was, uh, Silvio was a creator of this design, and it's super awesome. You can always change up the colors and size of Paracord you use for this and make different little types of pumpkins. So, um, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a happy Halloween. Be safe out there and have fun. And I'll definitely see you guys on the next tutorial.